Hi everyone, I'm Matt. Have you ever wished that your AI could remember your preferences like your love for your dog mocha or even in details from your past conversations? Stick with me because today I'll show you how to build an AI system that does just that by seamlessly integrating memory and retrieval augmented generation or rack. No, I mean there's a lot of good memories in there, right? Unlike basic chatbots, our AI agent uses three layers of intelligence. Conversation history, short-term memory for the current chat. Long-term memory stored in the error table cross-context uh, recall. Rack retrieval augmented generation for external data like uh, FAQs or product information. So let's dive in. We are going to cover the differences between conversation history, memory, and rack. Then walk through a live demo using the innate interface and Airtable integration to make AI truly memorable. If you are ready, let's go. First, we have the window buffer memory. With this memory, we can decide how many conversations the chat bot the agent will remember. In our scenario, it's 50 watt. Let's say 2. And I will show you how it will work. Let's chat. My name is Matt and my dog name is Mocha. Okay. Hi Matt, it's great to meet you and Mocha. How can I assist you today? I want to cook paella for my dog. This fun idea while traditional paella might be not suitable. Yes, I know. That's why I ask. What is my dog name? You will remember. What was I planned? As you see, it said you hadn't mentioned what you plan to cook for Mocate. If you have some ideas in mind or suggestions, I'd happy to. But we said I want to cook paella for my dog. As you can see, it doesn't remember our past conversation history because we are limited this with two. That's why we need another. We can say 50 is okay again, but we can talk a lot of topic with AI agent and we can do a lot of work and this 50 or 100 or 500 will fill. So we want to control what this AI agent will remember. We have different solutions for that. Or store more data and for the remember. And if we want AI agent to remember our preferences, we can add memory to this agent. And this agent will remember our conversations. I will show you how you can do this. Now, I added an error table here. You can see for the error table, first you have to set up your error table for this. You have to add your credential here. I will show you how you can do it. You add error table. By the way, we will use this one memory user and created. Memory is single line text, user is single line text, and it's created time. You can simply uh, set up this error table. After it, we have builder hub here. And here, you can see you have personal access tokens. Let's name it name. And you will uh, choose a scope. You can add all of them if you want to use in different projects your air table in the any time data recourse read, data recourse write, data recourse commands read. Yes. And you will choose your base, but you can choose all current bases if you want to use this token in your other NA10 project. So let's say create token and after it, you will see your token. We will paste it here and done. Now, let me show you how you can create this air table one. It's the same memory tool. We named it, set automatically, record, create memory. And this is it. And this is the agent memory. As you can see, it's empty right now. Map each column manually and for the memory we will use from AI function. That's why AI will decide our memory and the username. That's why we can see expression here. We will fill it like with expression from AI memory, from AI user. We can use it directly like this. And that's the different job, this tool for to create our memories. And let's try this one. Hey, my name is Matt. My box name is Mocha. Let's check. As you can see, user's name is Matt. User's dog's name is Mocha and it's related my, with my uh, username, Matt. 
So from now on, when I share something personal or when I share something about me, our AI agent will create our memories in this air table. So we can talk with, let's say my favorite meal is paella. And it's really is. Let's see. As you can see, my favorite meal is paella. As you can see, we added another record, get records from same air table. Personal record search, memory agent, memory user is Matt use this formula because I'm using it for this for myself. Memory created output fields. We are choosing this as output created field and direction ACC. Now let's ask, hey, what is my favorite meal? As you can see, it knows it's Paya. Do I have a dog? Yes, we have a dog named Mocha. And he is 12 years old. Got it. Mocha is 12 years old. This great an niche for a dog. How does he like to spend his days? Let's say we are walking in city. Let's check, uh, is it remember our uh, city where we are based? In our scenario, Barcelona. That sounds nice. Yes, 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 yes. Do you know which city we are walking? I guess all four typos. I am always writing like this. <laughs> I know, yes, we are walking in Barcelona. It's beautiful city. And many interesting places to explore with Mocha. Now, as we get, I said Mocha is 12 years old. Let's go back. Matt walks Mocha is 12 years old. It's, okay, it will remember also. Matt walks his dog in Mocha in the city. So, also it will remember this information too. It's so valuable. Thanks to this, uh, now you have memory with your chatbot. Yeah. After this, you can come back to this conversation and it will remember what you talk. That's really valuable. Because when you just use Windows buffer memory, it will just remember these conversations in this session. But, but with this tool, your AI agent always remember you and always store your memory. This is so important. Now we have an AI agent with memory. This was second step. Third step is adding external knowledge uh, to this AI agent. And we are doing this with Rack system, Vector database system. For this, we will use Pinecon. I created this, but I will show you how we can create. First, you will go to pinecon.io and you will see here, you will create index. You will write, as it is, whatever, text embedding small. That's all, create index. You can use this system uh, for trial for free. That's why you have just five vector database limit. I have five, as you can see. Now I created more. It's waiting here. After I went to DeepSeek, I can check, but I said I want uh, ranking. I want top movies from uh, MDB 50 with ranking movie name and director uh, and SC series. And there are a uh, table here. I created this. And this is in my drive. There's a like this. Now I will show you my rack system. In this system, uh, we get uh, any file dropped in this folder in my drive. In our say, case, I dropped this one. We download this file here. After it, our Pinecon vector store tool, as you can see, insert documents we are using. I will choose a movie here. You can connect your Pinecon really easy. You can see we have API keys here. You can see from, you can create from here. We have this one. We have embeddings. You can add, add embeddings, open eye text, embedding three small because we choose text embedding three small here. As you can see this one, this one also. It's important to choose the right one. We have default data loader and we have a recursive character text splitter. We will use chunk size 500 and chunk overlap to it. Let's work this one. It will get file downloaded. And now we are adding the vector to edit. <laughs> it's done. It's great as you can see. Let's check our results. As you can see, 
Van Geek Movie Director, Van Geek Movie Director. We have all of them. All the information, all the source from it. It's amazing. Was the wrong one? We, could, we have all the records here. Now, our uh, agent has to reach this uh, information. Now we will add vectors from this. Okay. Okay. In it embedding. We will use exact name from here, movie. I am and description IMDB top 50 movies. Now, we will add something else, uh, some another prop for here. Also, you have access to external knowledge. Thanks to Vector Store. You can use it. So, let's try. Now, our agent has external knowledge. So, can you tell which film the left ranking in IMDb? As you can see, it's used right there, so Twelfth is Fight Club. Let's check, is it true or right? Yes, Twelfth is Fight Club, as you can see. Now we have external knowledge in our uh, AI agent, and it also knows about us. We have memories with it, but also it has access to a vector database, an external database, and we can add anything we want. We can make smarter as we want, and we can use for different scenarios. It's really good. Let's finally ask who is the director of this movie. Yep, David Fincher. It's also giving information about David Fincher to you know for his distinctive style. So you can see I tried to explain each memory options uh, for our NATAM AI agent. First, we figured out window buffer memory. After we add own memory, uh, chat memory with us long term memory. After we added external database and knowledge uh, for our AI agent, we create great solutions with AI agents. We create businesses from scratch with AI agents in our community. Make money with AI agents. You can join our community. You can uh, use already blueprints for your business if you want to create an AI agency or if you want to use them in your business. Also, we are creating AI businesses from Sketch as I said, and we are doing this together. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next. Bye.